Bam! Oh, hi! Oh, sorry about that. Anyways, let's go live. We're getting ready to go live right now. Here we go. 9.40 in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio. Friday morning, free form Friday. It is Brick Daz Action this time. Man, that, that, that song brings back a whole lot of memories. It really, really does. You know, back in the day, this is no lie, man. When I was in elementary school, I used to hit on all the girls. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing, but I'd hit on the girls. You know? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Sixth grade, man. And hey, I just said, I got to get started somewhere. Why not in the sixth grade, right? I'd tell all the little girls, hey, can I take you to school? And they'd say, sure, you can pick me up tomorrow to walk me to school. I'm not talking about that kind of school. And then they would never talk to me again. There you have it. Anyways, Friday morning, free form Friday it is. Let's do some good morning shout-outs here. Here we go. Good morning shout-out. Got us a cat. Morales. Buenos dias. Mary Alvarez. Good morning. Good morning. Joining me live on Facebook right now. Gloria Ramos. Buenos dias. Rudolph Galindo. Good morning, amigo. How you doing? There we go. Mary Alvarez. He said, happy Friday. Happy Friday. There we go. Sarah Duarte. Buenos dias. Cynthia Gonzalez. Ramirez. Used to text in the house. Good morning, Cynthia. Wait, Cynthia. You got to agree with me. That that game last night with the Houston Texans, that was a boring kind of a game. It really was, man. That's a boring game. Man, when I got to put on midget porn, it's got to be a boring game. Good morning, shout out. Got it to Sally Sanchez. When was he at Sally? Anyways, it is Friday morning. The weekend right in front of us is the, um, geez, man, you know, really, I'm not making this up. I am, uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy the fight tomorrow night. I don't know yet. I'm going like, can see, can see. You know, you know, you know, one of them kind of a deals. A hundred dollars to watch Canelo Triple G fight tomorrow. A hundred dollars, man. Man, a hundred dollars. One, two, three, four, five. That's about eight. Twelve packs of Shinerbach. Maybe nine. Twelve packs of Shinerbach. Man, that's, that's a, tough decisions here. Good morning, shout out. Got to Rosemary Gomez. Good morning, Rosemary. Uh, there we go. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez says, I don't care what you say, Robert, about the Texans. A win is a win. Okay, yeah, sure, Cynthia, sure. Good morning, shout out going to Cuca Rodriguez. Good morning, Cuca. Este, um, you know, I used to have a buddy of mine back in the day. His name was Cuco. Are y'all related? Oh, sorry about that. Anyways, good morning, shout out going to Sarah Duarte. Good morning, Nani Jimenez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. I tell you what, let's go ahead and knock it out. Let's do celebrity birthdays. Let's see what celebrities are celebrating the birthday today, September the 15th, 2017. Let me see who I recognize. I never recognize anybody. Here we go. Prince Harry. I've never understood this. What does that mean when you're a prince in England? What does that mean? I mean, what... Um, what benefits do you get? Uh, how much money do you have? Really? I mean, when you're a prince in England, what do you get? You know, really, man, is the, um, I'd like to know. I'm going to have to Google this. What are your benefits being a prince? I want to know. Let me see who is celebrating birthday. Let me see here. Good morning, child. I got up to Jacqueline Aguilada. Good morning, Jacqueline. Let me see who. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones is 71 years old and actually lives here in San Antonio. Uh, let me see here. Gaylord Perry used to be a pitcher, 79 years old. Dan Marino, former quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, 56 years old. I don't know who in the hell that is. Pete Carroll, coach for the Seattle Seahawks, 66 years old. I think that's it on celebrity birthdays. Good morning, shout out to Maria Alma Teniente. Good morning. You know, Maria invited me to a high school reunion dance, and she goes, but I'm not going to be there. Well, what kind of an invitation is that, Maria, when you're inviting me to a high school reunion dance, and you tell me, go, Robert, go, but I'm not going to be there. <laughs> Don't invite me. Hey, man, come on. <laughs> Good morning, Maria. Good morning to me. Good morning to Diana Prado. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, um, I'm having my coffee right now, and I sure do need some pan dulce with my coffee. I really do. Um, um, let's see, what was I going to say? Here we go, there we go. Good morning, shout out to Michelle. Did I mean, this William joining me from Spring, Texas, in the Casa. Um, uh, what else was I going to say, man? I, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, I'm a loss for words here. You're probably going, you, Robert, a loss for words? No, really, man, I am. I'm a loss for words. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, I was thinking right now, I said, you know, I've never realized 
that working for Uber, that I've got to, you got to keep your car clean each and every day. You got to keep it clean. You got to vacuum it. You got to clean the seats and, you know, keep everything clean, nice and neat and whatever inside your car because you want to make an impression on the people. Uh, my car has never been so clean in its entire life. I'm serious, man. I'm giving my car a hand job every day. And my car is so happy. It's so happy, my car. It really is, man. You know, I don't blame it. <laughs> I'd be too. <laughs> Anyways, um, plans for the weekend, like I said. There's just so much sports going on right now. And like I said, I mean, if you're a football fan, you're in hog heaven. If you hate football, you're probably going, oh, my God, what am I going to do all weekend? Have y'all noticed that the Trader's Village here in San Antonio, at their, uh, that uh, flea market out there in, uh, what is it, uh, Culeva Road out there, 410? All the way out. Anyways, they're having bands each and every weekend on Sunday. And I was thinking to myself, I wonder if they're getting a lot of people out there. Because when you go up against football, está pero cabrón. It really, really is. Good morning, shout out to Irene Gayona. Prima, how you doing, prima? I mean, Robert G. Duque, how you doing, amigo? I mean, H. Danbury, buenos dias. Um, Leticia Ochoa, I mean, good morning, good morning. You know, one thing that I've noticed is that whenever I'm picking up these tourists, these people that are from out of town, I'm getting a lot of people that don't know too much about San Antonio. And they ask me, where do you think we should go? What do you suggest? Well, you know, this and that. And I said, well, what are you looking for? Like this one guy I picked up, he told me, hey, dude, um, where's the action? And I go, uh, uh, what are you talking about, dude? He goes, you know, <whistles> action, you know. Oh, I said, action, A-C-T-I-O-N, action? Action, action. He goes, yeah, action. I said, well, how much do you want to spend? He goes, oh, maybe about 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Are you serious? Well, let me take you to the senior citizen home over there. You might get lucky with one of those over there for 10 bucks, dude. That's about it, really, man. That's all I can tell you for 10 bucks. 10 bucks not going to get you too far. He goes, well, how about $15? <laughs> I said, hey, dude, it's not going to be too much different. Dude. you got to get into the Benjamin Franklin's, you know, the $100 bills. Then you're talking. Then I can point you to another direction. But if you're going to stay in the $15, $20 range and you're looking for action, I'll just take you to a senior citizen home over there, and you can pick up whatever you want. And there you have it. Good morning, shout out to Carol Maldonado. Good morning, good morning. Diana Davila, the man. Buenos dias. She says, good morning, Robert. There we go, Linda Langford. Good morning, Linda. Anyway, I tell you what. Cindy Martinez Hernandez, who has been one of my listeners, actually my very, very first listener since day one, four and a half years ago, and still listening and still loyal to Robert Reeves Radio, tells me, Robert, um, you know I'm a big Donny Osmond fan. Can you play some Donny Osmond? And I said, no. <laughs> Please, Robert, no. She goes, um, how about if I throw in some Pan Dulce? Uh, well, it's, uh, I, I never turned down Pan Dulce when it's being offered from a woman, so I said, okay, all right, all right, we'll do some Donny Osmond, there we go, there we go. <laughs> he said, Cynthia Gonzalez, I mean, you make a great cheerleader, Robert. Uh, okay, I, I'll take that as a compliment. So, you know what, let's do some Donny Osmond. You know, let me just say this about Donny Osmond, okay? Back in the day, this is all true. I'm, I'm going to share a story, this is all true. Back in the day when I grew up in Live Oak, right here, right here off the top of Wine Road, the, my neighbor right next door, she was a walia, una gringa. No lie. I had the hots for her. No lie, man. I was in the sixth grade. I had the hots for her. <laughs> I did. I was willing to trade three baseball cards for her. Really, man, I had the hots for her. And I told her, how come you never look at me? How come you're not interested in me? And she goes, because you're not Donny Osmond. So, anyways, I cussed her out and I never saw her again. So, I tell you what, let's do some Donny Osmond. A blast from the past. Good morning, Double R Radio. There we go. It's a prima. He said, Trader's Village is located on 410 and Old Pearsall Road. Yeah, I knew it was out there somewhere. I know how to get there, prima. I just don't remember the address. Really, man, that's my problem. It was a memory problem, especially the people I owe money to. Good morning. <laughs>